Oh, no, no, this is nasty. Dude, dude, put it back in. Put it back in. Are you kidding me? Oh, you have to try it for the vlog. I already tried it. It's gross. You have We've been eating this for years. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we've got my brother here from America We're gonna try some Swedish food with him that we've never had Well, I've had some of these things But the thing that we're first gonna start off with is something that I've never had and people have been asking me to try for a long time Two years in Sweden, I figure it's about time. This guy has no idea what this is. <laughs> smells gross, I'll tell you that. It's Everybody amazing. in the grocery store when we were buying this, they, they knew that we were up to this challenge yeah. from everything that was in our basket. And yeah. then they just turned to this guy and they said, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> See you never. <laughs> Kalas Caviar. And what's the guy's name on the front? Is it Sven? Sven the Kalas guy? He, no, it's Kalas. He's so Kalis? happy. Oh, his name's Kalas. Obviously, Kalis. it's Kalas, bro. <laughs> his name's Kalas. Yeah, yeah. His name is Sven, but the product is Sven. It's Kalas. Kalas Kalas. He, he looks so happy, and I just don't think that's going to be my reaction. Okay. Well, his name's Kalas. Now I feel, like, really, really stupid. So I guess how you do this, everybody takes a... Peter, right? Uh, it's, it's Peter. You want the middle one or the end one? It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, bro. All right. So you I just kind of like lube it up, right? <laughs> lube it up, baby. You want to do it? I'll, I'll lube it up for you. You, right? you, right. you put right. it on my bread. So basically, what you do is you want like small s's like this, right? So you want to get. That's a lot, dude. Dude, it is gonna be. Is it supposed to be that? Well, much? it doesn't. It doesn't really taste that much. No, I'm joking. It tastes so much. <laughs> that looks like a lot. Yeah. I'm not doing right, right, that let's much. Let's try it together. We're trying together. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. This guy is so fake, dude. Oh, that's that's gonna be an interesting. interesting it, it is a lot of flavor, but it's like I don't know. You you don't you like it or? Um, yeah, I'm I a, like it on I'm Tuesdays one, and Thursdays. I'm a one uh, snake kind of guy here. I don't really like it too often, to be honest. Yeah. But it, I mean, it floats my boat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I realized yeah. I didn't introduce Frederick. Frederick Swedish, so. Uh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> The one who likes open spaces. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick's right, the, the one from the other blog that likes open spaces. Cheers, babies. All right, cheers. Mm. <laughs> Actually? You good, right? All that aftertaste, nope. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't that bad biting into Usually, it. Usually, this is instead of gum before we make out. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's the aftertaste that's mm. the hard part. You got it, though. No, I'm good. Yeah. Some snake it, 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 in the beginning, <laughs> it tastes kind of like a cheese flavor. Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of good. But the aftertaste is very fishy. What is it actually, though? It's, uh, well, caviar is like the fish <laughs> eggs, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So gross. So oil, sugar, potato. Caviar is like the fish eggs. See, I don't, I don't uh, like it enough. To, it. I don't think I like it enough to continue eating it. Yeah. Are you guys not going to finish? Mm. That's so gross. It's very <laughs> fishy. That's even like... Should I should I just do it? Do it. You can't start and not finish. That's just like... Oh, Actually, challenge. that's Dude, quite I have so style. much more than you. No, it's just not a challenge. You're not supposed to eat this much on there. Was, yeah, you are. If you like caviar. Really? Yeah, it's like when you put your Nutella sandwich, bro. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> Stack it up. If this was it's Nutella, good. dude, I would have this much That's Nutella what I'm trying to and this tell much you, bread. Yeah. <laughs> but Kalos Caviar, I think the ratio is a little off here. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm happy we have the full too. Just go nuts with it. You can Jeez. bring this to America, dude. Frederick, yeah. I hope your girlfriend likes this. Yeah, Otherwise, fish uh, bait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I if I'm eating this, you got to eat that. Come on. Come yeah, on. You're, right, you're right. You're right. If you want to move here someday. <laughs> Uh, well, I get to take Open time. up! Open up! <laughs> I'm done with your shit, dude. Ugh. Yeah. That's nasty. If you just try to swallow it before the aftertaste kicks in, yeah. like, look it's at that, almost dude. not bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, the the first flavor is really good, but I, I know what you're saying with like the aftertaste mm -hmm. is harder. I yeah. just but <laughs> but throw up. <laughs> I just don't like foods where I feel like I have to chase mm. it with another food. Oh. <laughs> Mm. I get that. No, I get that. Yeah. I don't like foods that I have to chase it with another food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good what rule of thumb to live by. All right. Course number two is the Skogan Rora, mm -hmm. our personal favorite. Yes. Uh, Freddie and I and Christian, you've never had Skogan Rora. You've had something similar. Mm, I remember uh, at your work, right? Yeah, at a work party, you had something similar. But I think you'll like this a little bit more. 
So go ahead and just take, yeah. Just look at that. I mean, mm. yeah, I don't think it was on the camera before, yeah. but now you can see. Skulkin Roar is basically like a shrimp s salad, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah. Ooh. Wouldn't, Ooh, all right. Was it shrimp salad? Did you even fry up the bread? Yeah, dude, that's what you're supposed dude, to do. This is the a professional I way. got buttery <laughs> bread gone. Buttery, is, is buttery toasted mm. bread with mm. shrimp salad on top. I right. want more calories than a Big Mac. All right, is it? Yeah, probably. Well, cheers to this one, too. Baby, Swedish delicacy. Shrimp's good for you, right? Delicacy, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Mm. I couldn't get it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And nope, round two of not enjoying mm -hmm. yourself. Really? It's I like no, I actually like it. I like shrimp, but this is just it tastes like acidic or something. It's got mm. like a really fishy Wait, I like like cocktail shrimp. Mm -hmm. Cocktail shrimp is delicious. But this just has that like I don't know if it's the aftertaste, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's actually good food, you know? The, this mm -hmm. isn't my favorite Skogan Rora, though. The one we <laughs> had at your place in Carlaplan, not breaded, so was a little better. <laughs> this one, the, the mm. flavors are just different, because mm. I'm not enjoying this as much as the other ones that we've had. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, it's not bad. The bread's good. What are you doing? Give it to me. You don't waste. It. You know there's like 60 crown on freaking mm -hmm. Skogan Rora. Is this the luxury Skogan Rora, technically? Well, um, from this store, yeah. But. I like the Skogan Rora of the people. Yeah. I like the people Skogan Rora. The luxury, maybe it's too fancy for me. Maybe you're not there yet. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. So, so far we've had two seafood dishes. I don't like seafood though. Like, I feel like I'm already biased, you but know? But that yeah. makes you realize how much fish and seafood that they actually eat here in Sweden. It is a lot. Yeah. More than a lot of countries. For your movie, you need to start you need to start uh, eating fish. Yeah. I do like fish, like grilled salmon. You just Love said salmon. you don't like seafood. I okay, so let me rephrase that. There yeah. are a lot of seafoods I don't like. I'm very particular about my seafood. Yeah. You like, like the mech fish? You like the No, like, I don't even like 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 lobster I don't like. Yeah. I'm very picky about crab. There's only certain times and certain dishes that I like crab. Mm -hmm. But honestly my grandma makes some mean crab cakes mm -hmm. where it's all deep fried and you don't really taste the crab. My grandma's well, crab cakes. It's are. probably the oil that you like, not exactly. Really. Yeah, yeah, but so I mean, yeah, I'm very particular about seafood. Yeah, I well, mean, it's, uh, really, salmon is about the only seafood I enjoy. Salmon's so good. Hey, there's our other roommate, Ma. Hi, what's up, Ma? <laughs> hey, yeah. Hi, lady. We're doing a filming Swedish food eating video. Oh, nice. The only one has yeah. an actual job. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually working right now. <laughs> is that chocolate? <laughs> what are you eating? No, I'm eating meatballs. Oh, can I have oh, one? Oh, yeah, she's already That's digging into the main out. course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the kitchen, I was like, I need to have one. <laughs> no, but uh, what, what I was gonna say is, uh, you notice in Swedish schools, for example, when working in Swedish schools, they serve a lot of seafood at school, and going through school system in America, they hardly ever would serve seafood, yeah. or never, yeah, probably chicken nuggets and kupa chicken. And but it was like every single yes. Wednesday, <laughs> yeah. they'd have fish at school at the yeah, schools that I was at. For us, it was Tuesdays, yeah. we'd have, yeah. I take that back, we'd have fish sticks, <laughs> 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 that was the only thing. This peanut. <laughs> and dude, fish sticks in America. It's fish like, sticks. It's and like, they were like it's the like microwave fries, basically. Yeah, yeah they were like yeah. the microwavable fish sticks. I mean, I chomped <laughs> on those. Those were decent. Dip those in some tartar sauce. <laughs> 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 now, moving here would do good for you. Uh, culinary mind set. Yeah, I'm here for the kebab. You'll learn, yeah. <laughs> you'll learn to like fish. Meat on the stick. Yeah, meat on the stick. That's but them fun. being vegetarian is very big here too, and vegan and stuff. So I guess mm. you. Yeah, we had that, that like too. fake taco meat. Yeah, and, like, so I didn't right? even know it was fake till so after I, I saying, ate it. Yeah, I told you it was fake afterwards, and you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it just depends. I was mind blown as well the first time I had that. I didn't yeah. realize that it was not good. meat. Because so. the taco spice is so strong too, so it can't really. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really now I can tell the difference. I'm still confused what that was. Like if it's not meat, what is it? Mushrooms, bro. Mushrooms, soy products, different. Wow, dude. I was convinced it was beef. Oomph, maybe, right? Even my stomach was like, yeah, dude, that was beef. I was like, all right, you know. When it came out, you were like, nah, don't That's a lot. That's mushrooms, baby. All right, so course number three of this three-course Swedish meal. We've had two seafood dishes. Yes, they've both kind been, been foul. Kind of been Fire. a little bit rough so far, so we finally got something I think you will approve of. The Swedish meatballs <laughs> with the lingon silt. Have you had with the lingon silt before? Uh, Lingonberry jam, baby. No, I don't know. Okay, don't so, so this will be a first for you. Yeah, yeah. Load up, big boy. Yeah, 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 okay. And I'm going to stab me a potato. You want a potato? Yeah, dude. Oh, they're uh, softies. Yeah, they're really soft. 
Oh, don't break. I feel I'm not like the best I, chef. I feel like on Frederick and I are like the angels and demons on your shoulders. Like he's like he's like the angel. Like yeah, the seafood's great. I'm, I'm the so devil. Good. I'm like no, seafood's terrible. Well, we're all. Oh my god, that's a lot I mean, of meatballs. That right applies there. to life as well, bro. Dude, yeah, right. too many meatballs. At least I make my tickets. Yeah, see, Frederick's the good influence on me. Christian's and I'm the good influence on you because I'm the older brother. And but Christian has no influence on anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what yeah, you get for living in America. Huh? Uh-huh. Wow, well, I feel attacked. <laughs> right there for now. We've got mom behind the scenes now. If you Hi, support guys. this hostile behavior, <laughs> call 911. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we gotta lingon it up. Alright, we need the first bite together, yeah? Yeah, well. Hi, Christian. So he hasn't it. even had lingon on his. Oh, damn, Christian. Why are you always behind, bro? I don't know, dude. No, I'm joking. Alright, so you get some potato, you get a meatball. Yep. Mm-hmm. A good amount of lingonberry jam. Some hot potatoes. Yeah, man. dude. Hot potatoes. So you get a lot of lingonberry jam. Uh huh. So you really taste yeah, it. I should use a knife, too, probably. Mm. There you go. Are you ready? Sammy. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Cheers, lads. Fucking go, dude. Mm. Mm, mm. See, I can get behind that. Yep. All right, Sweden. Let's go. About time. Did they redeem mm. themselves in round three? Yeah. Meatballs. So meatballs good. is always good. This oh. is why midsummer, Christmas, mm. I always gravitate towards the meatballs. You can yeah. always you can never count go wrong. on these. You can yeah. always count on these to save the day when you've had too much seafood. There's just something I like about meat. You know, like, mm. like it's not. It was just um. It's not bad, ever. Yeah. And I think I think meatballs has a very great reputation because of IKEA, right? Because mm. literally all over the world you can get IKEA meatballs. Yes. Mm. But the best ones that I've ever had is my granny. She made some fire homemade every Thursday. My entire childhood, she came to my house oh. and she rolled up some of her own meatballs. Some, They're so some good. real meatballs. You remember so good. like. For my birthday, when our parents would let us choose a food that we wanted, I always chose like spaghetti and meatballs. That was always like one of our favorite things growing up. True. And, and the homemade, that. oh yeah, and the homemade meatballs were just so yeah. good. Those just, those just hit different. There's a yeah. love in them, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, and everyone makes them differently. If you make them from, from the foundation, everyone has their own trick. Mm-hmm. It's like Swedish tacos a little bit. Same mm-hmm. thing. Everyone yeah. does them different. Yeah. So with that, I think that's going to wrap up the videos that we have my brother in on the channel for a while. He's going back to America. This is his Thank last God, day. right? Thank God. We're so tired of him. <laughs> no, uh, but he's been in four videos. And if you haven't seen the Old Town Road music video, that's, I think, one of my favorites. The Swedish parody Old Town Road, Ikea Road. He's the dude with the Viking hat and sunglasses. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely check yeah. that out. It's kind of funny. It's a parody yeah. video. Uh... He's the one in the Viking hat who's great at doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. That is my talent, doing yeah. little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But with that, guys, we're going to get to eating for real here. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching this. If there's anything else you want me to try, leave it down below in the comments because I'm down to try whatever. I've already tried surf drumming, so uh, oh, you can't really get worse than that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.